Good evening. Good evening. We will start in three minutes. Good evening, guys. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. We will start in two minutes. Good evening, everybody. Okay. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good, good evening. evening. How are you? How good are you? Evening. I'm fine and happy. What about you? How are you, Aleli? How was your day? Very nice. Hello, Thank you. good evening. Hello, good evening. Very nice too. Okay, how are you, Iris? How was your day? My day is very good, teacher. Very good, excellent. Very good. Are you tired? Yes, yeah, so a little. A little. A little. Okay, what about Oscar? How are you, Oscar? Fine, um, you're tired, but I'm here. I'm happy to be Okay, excellent. But the most important idea is that you are here. Excellent. Yeah, yeah. What about Rosemary? How are you, Rosemary? I'm fine. Yes. Um, um, How was your day? Um, me olvidé la palabra cansado. Tired. Tired. Uh, tired. Are, are, are you tired? In the work. Okay. Is, is your day, do you have, did you have some, or did you have a, a hard work? Did you have a hard work? Tuvo un trabajo pesado? Um... Soso. Pero, pero, a little bit. La cuesta un poco. Yes, yes. Sometimes they are difficult, right? Yes. Okay, excellent. What about Elmer? How are you, Elmer? 
I'm fine, teacher. Okay, how was your day? So, so. So, so. Are you tired? Yes. Yes. Okay, but yes, you, you look like happy, right? <laughs> <laughs> and it's the most important. Okay. Yes, thanks, teacher. Okay, what about Byron? How are you, Byron? I am good. Okay, how was your day? ¿Cómo estuvo su día? How was your day? Really good. Very good. Excellent. Yeah. What about Amilcar? How are you, Amilcar? I am fine. How was I'm your day, fine. Amilcar? My day was uh, a little hard, but I okay. Okay, excellent. What about Roberto Carlos? How are you, Roberto? I'm fine, teacher. Very, How... very uh, tired today. Okay. It was terrible your day. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> but you you <laughs> look okay. like happy too. Okay, yeah. Okay, and it's, a, it's nice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, you. what about Rufino? How are you, Rufino? Me? Other? other yes. Again? How mm -hmm. are you? Uh, fine. I'm fine. I, How I, was I, your day? My day was a little, a little, a little hard. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Excellent. Now, what about Sandra? How are you, Sandra? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Hello. Good My evening. My day was very easy. Very um, easy. Yes. Okay. And then, are you tired? Not really. Not really. Okay. I'm relaxed. You are relaxed. Excellent. And then you, your participation is better, right? <laughs> now, what about Iris? How are you, Iris? Very well, teacher. And you? Well. It was nice. Uh, okay. My day, it was nice. Yes. Because thanks to God, we have a, another job, right? And this is, this is important. Now, what about, let me see, Cecilia. How are you, Cecilia? I'm fine, teacher. How was your day? My day was very busy, but I enjoyed the life. Okay, excellent. It's important. What about yes. Saul? How are you, Saul? I'm doing great, teacher, but a little tired. Too. A little tired. Yeah, because I wake up early and in the afternoon, I went to the hospital because my mother is a little sick in the, in the hospital and I'm a little tired, I think. Ah, okay, but. But, I'm, but I'm, I'm happy for being here because I think that we are going to learn new things today. Okay, but is yeah. your mother better now? No, because she needs an operation. Oh, okay. She's, I'm she's waiting for operation. I'm sorry to hear that, but it is very important to pray to God. Pray to God because that God gives us the life. Yeah, thank you. And then it's, it's, it's very important pray to God, right? Thank you. What about, okay, welcome. What about Christina? How are you, Christina? Uh, I'm doing well, miss. Okay, how was your day? Well, it was busy since some members of my family came to have lunch. Okay. Yes. Excellent. What about Elizabeth? How are you, Elizabeth? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm okay, <clears throat> but I, my day was um, uh, a terrible. <laughs> I'm very That's terrible. Uh, Why? I'm, I was 
very busy and I have a uh, difficult with uh, a, a difficult activity. activity with my job. Ah, um, okay. But I'm here <laughs> now and I, yes. I'm happy. <laughs> Excellent. Okay, I like. Uh, what is, let me see, Elmer. Ah, ya le pregunté a Elmer, ¿verdad? Ok. Yes, teacher. Ok. <laughs> Then, now, do you remember what topic we saw yesterday in class? Do you remember what topic we saw yesterday? You saw connector who and that? Connector and? About relative. Who? Who or who that? That? Yes. It's we saw connectors. And can can you tell me something about that? About connectors? Can you tell me something about that? We saw subject and object, right? We saw relative pronouns as subject and as object. What is the subject? Subject is? That's the, the action. action. That's the action. That's the action. Is the person or thing doing something? Yeah? And here we have two clauses. What is the meaning of clause? Here? Oración. Oración. Yes. Is when you Oración. connect ideas. Is when you connect ideas. But it means oración, right? You connect the ideas. What is the meaning of object? Is who? Receive? Receive the action. The action. the action. the action. Is having something done to it. Yeah? Did you remember yeah. this information? Yes. 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 Excellent. Now, <clears throat> we did this exercise too. Did you remember? When is not necessary for that in the conversation, oh. right? Right. We did okay. We did this exercise too. Now, the topic for today is personalities. What is the meaning of personalities? Describe a person. Describe persons. It's when you describe person, and you can describe sometimes animals too. Yeah. But usually it's for person, personalities. What are they like? Can you tell me what is the meaning of what are they like? What are they like? ¿Cómo son ¿Cómo ellos? te gustaría? ¿Cómo son? Yes. ¿Cómo son ellos? Oh, yes. Like is, is when we have some, when, when we talk about characteristics, right? Acerca de características, like is, ¿cómo es? What are they like? ¿Cómo son ellos o ellas? What are they like? Now, here we have our first vocabulary about personalities. Please pay attention. The first one is easy going. Can you repeat that for me? Easy going. Easy, easy going. 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 Easy going. Easy going. Okay. An easy going person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Okay. Can you read please this information? What is easy going? Easy going. 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 Easy going.
And I'm the nice. going person is, is someone who doesn't, doesn't worry much. much get angry easily. Easily. Angry easily. easily. An easygoing easily. person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Now, I ask you, are there any new words for you? Here in the first line. New words for you? Yeah? Angry. Angry? Angry, Angry is the opposite of happy. Enojado. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes. Uh, happy, angry. Happy or angry. Are you happy or angry? Yeah. Happy or angry is the opposite of happy. Enojado. Yeah. Now, in second one, ah, in here, in here, in first line, are there another new words for you? Yeah? What is the meaning of worry? Who doesn't worry much? Preocupar. Preocuparse. Okay, y someone who doesn't worry much es alguien que no se preocupa o despreocupa. Se enoja alguien, fácilmente. Que no, no se enoja, enoja. Que no, dice no se preocupa mucho ni se enfada. Sí. Angry Así es mismo. enojado o enfadarse, right? Uh -huh. Angry easily, no se enfada con facilidad. Easily is facilidad, right? Facilidad. Yes. Is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Now, second. Second is egotistical. Please repeat Egoista. after me. Egotistical. 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 An egotistical person egotistical. is someone who has a very high opinion of him or herself. Please repeat after me. What is egotistical? Please read. An, An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of him or herself. Or herself. Now, I ask you, do you have any questions for this, for this, Description or oh, are there new words for you? An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of him or herself. Is clear? Or do you have any questions for this vocabulary? Yes, yes. Me, is... teacher. Is... Yes? Excuse me, teacher. Tell me. Uh, who is pronounced egotistical? Egotistical? Yes. One egotistical. Here in the first, aquí, here, ego okay. is egotistical. Egotistical. Okay. And okay. here in the description, an egotistical. An egotistical okay. person. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Is it the pronouns only one? This test. In here, Egotist. In which one? Egotist. Egotistical. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Egotistical. Thank you. With, okay, you're welcome. Number three. Inflexible. 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 An inflexible. Inflexible. An inflexible yeah. person An, is someone who yeah. doesn't change easily and is oh. stubborn. Okay. Please. Stubborn. Now. Stubborn. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. A stubborn. A stubborn. Stubborn. Now, stubborn. please read. Inflexible. Read, please. An inflexible person. 
Everybody read. Inflatable. An inflatable An person. Inflatable person. Doesn't change. Okay. Are there new words for you? In number three? A stubborn. Stubborn. Stubborn is? Is terco obstinado in Spanish? Stop. Thank you. Yes, this person is someone who doesn't change easily. And it's stubborn. Okay. Que no cambia fácilmente o es muy terco. Yes, que no cambia fácilmente o es muy terco. Excellent. Now, number four. Modest. 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 A modest, modest. A modest, a modest person. person is a someone person who is doesn't. Someone. Yeah. Continue. Who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Accomplishment. Yes, modest. Here there is a mistake. Aquí le hace falta la T al final, miren. But it's okay. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Are there new words for you in this line? Accomplishment. Accomplishment. Accomplishment, it means logro, meta. Y brag? Doesn't brag? Brag. Brag is... Is jactarse o alardearse. Jactarse o alardear. Bravo. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Okay, number five. Sociable. 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 A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Please read it. Sociable. What is sociable? Sociable. Sociable. A sociable person. A sociable person enjoys being with other people. With other people. With other people. Excellent. Do you have any questions for this line about vocabulary? Everything is okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. Yes, I clear. Okay. Number six, stingy. 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 A stingy, stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Please read. What is a stingy? A stingy person. Someone who doesn't, doesn't, like, doesn't like, like sharing. sharing. Excellent. Doesn't like sharing. I ask you, are you a stingy? No. no. Really. No. Yes, and are you sure? No. Yes. Yes, I'm sure. Yes. It will be our secret. I'm modest. <laughs> ah, okay. <laughs> Excellent. Now, number seven. Supportive. 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 A supportive person, a supportive is, person someone? is someone who yeah. is helpful and Encouraging. 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 Yes. Encouraging. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Encouraging. Are there any new words for you in this line? What do you mean encouraging? Encouraging. 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 It means esperanzador. In Spanish. Thanks. What, I remember the question is, what is the meaning of encouraging? What is the meaning of, right? What is the meaning of encouraging? It means esperanzador. Yeah. Number eight is temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Irregular moods. 
Okay, please read. What is the per the temperamental? A temperamental person. Very good. Now, do you have any questions for this line? No? no. What is the meaning of moodus? Modo. Yes. Estado de ánimo, right? Oh, impredecible o irregular. Yes. O estado de ánimo irregulares también. Impredecibles o, o estado de ánimo irregulares. Yeah. Now, in number nine, is unreliable, unreliable, unreliable. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she prom promised. Yes. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Please read. Read. Promised. Promised. With the at the end. Promised. Do you have any promise? Do you have any questions for this vocabulary? Okay, what is the meaning of promised? Promesas. Promesas, excellent. Now, I ask you, what kind of personalities do you prefer? Can you hear me? Yeah? I have doubt about the pronunciation in the number nine. Number nine. The unreliable. 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 Oh. Is an unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Yeah? It's okay? <clears throat> yeah. Okay, now, what kind of personalities do you prefer? Uh, supportive, modest, supportive. Supportive, supportive, what else? Is it going? 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 Sociable. 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 What else? What else? Modest. Supportive. Modest. Supportive. Now, think, think of at least three adjectives to describe yourself. Then tell a partner. I have first in your notebook, uh, write a th uh, three, three adjectives to describe yourself. Please, right now. In your notebook. Remember that. Describe yourself. Did you finish? Did you finish? No yet. No yet. No yet. Okay. We are going to use three adjectives. Three adjectives to describe yourself. Okay. Did you finish? 
Can I try to say? Repeat, please. Can I try? Yes, please tell me. Okay, the first one is number six. I'm not a stinky person because in my case, I like to share with other people. Okay, the second one, I'm a sociable, uh, I don't know. Sociable? Sociable person because I, I like to have a relationship with other people. Okay. Finally, finally mm -hmm. temperamental. 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 Because in some case I feel happy, in another case I'm a little sad and angry. I don't know. Okay. No moment. Okay. Thanks a lot for your participation. Who else? Who else? Volunteer? Me. Okay. Who is me? Marisol. Okay, Marisol, thank you. Okay. Please, I, tell us. I, I, am a per, uh, I am a sociable, supportive, and easygoing person. Oh, excellent. <laughs> now, another volunteer. Please share, share with us. Share Me with us. Byron. Okay, Byron, tell us. I am, social, I am sociable, I am easygoing, and I am not stingy. Okay, excellent. What about Natalie? Natalie Flores. I think I am a supportive person. I'm not stingy and I'm a little bit egotistical. Oh, egotistical. Mm. Okay. Thanks a lot for your participation. Another volunteer. Me, teacher Griselda Zamora. Griselda, thanks, Griselda. Tell us. I, I consider I am sociable, easygoing, and supportive because I love to have a lot of friends and help them. Okay, excellent. Excellent. Now, another volunteer. Volunteer? Rosemary. Hi, um, I am sociable, modest, and friendly. What is the last one? Uh, sociable, modest, and friendly. Friendly? Yes. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Now, Sonia. I'm... Is it going? Yeah. Sociable and a little temperamental. Temperamental. Okay, very good. Another volunteer. The last, the last volunteer, please. Last volunteer. And then I choose a volunteer, right? I choose to, let me see. Oscar, thanks Oscar. Okay, I am sociable. Yeah. And going and determinate. Uh, what is the last one? Determinate. Determinate. Correct. Okay. Now, what about Arsenio? Arsenio? Sorry to share. Okay. Eh, Tell us. Se, tengo un problema un poco con el teléfono cuando se sobrecalienta. Eh, okay. I, I am a modest, reliable, and sociable. Sociable. Okay, very good. Now, here, here we have an important quiz. And then, I need be honest with this quiz about your personality. But be honest with yourself. Yeah? Be honest. 
Please check is if is is this is according with this with your personality. For example, number one, I can stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. Second one, I don't like I don't like it when a cell phone rings in the classroom. Three, it bothers me when a teacher forgets my name. I hate it when people talk with their mouth full. It upsets me when a close friend forgets my birthday. I can't stand it when people talk loud to each other during a movie. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. It's bother me when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. Do you have any questions for this vocabulary? Are there Excuse any... me, teacher. Tell me. Uh, could you send this information to WhatsApp? Yes, yes, of course. After the okay, class. Thank you. After class, okay. I send thank you. you. But now I need to check to check this quiz. Check to know about your personality, your real personality, right? Because can be you are inventing. What is the meaning of I can stand it? I can stand it. I can stand it is no puedo soportar. I can stand it or no soporto. I can stand it when a child scream in a restaurant. I don't like it. What is the meaning of I don't like it? No me gusta. No me gusta. Yes, when a cell phone rings in the classroom. Cuando it el teléfono suena en clase. Yes. It bothers me, me molesta. It bothers me, me molesta when a teacher forgets my name. Okay. I hate, odio. I hate, odio. When people talk with their mouth full. Me too. Habla con la boca llena. Yes. It's terrible, right? It upset me. It upset me. Me molesta. It upset me. Me molesta. When a close friend forgets my birthday. I can't stand it. Yeah. Did you finish? Check your real information. Only one. No, all, all of them. All. Lea las todas and check your, your real information. Well, can be that, that you have a three or four or five. Yeah. You check if the information is true for you. Yeah? For example, yeah. if I can stand when a child is scream in a restaurant, I check the first one. If I hate it when people talk with their mouthful, check again. I don't like it when people call me early in the morning. If it's my case, check. Yeah? Did you finish? No yes. yet? Yes. yes. Okay, yes. now, after finish, here we have a score. If you have one or two complaints, what is the meaning of complaints? Quejas. It means quejas, complaints. Quejas. Now, if you have one on two, this is the your results. Wow, you don't get annoyed very easily. 
if you have three or four complaints, you are fairly easy going. Yeah, number five to six, you get annoyed pretty easily. And seven to eight, relax, you get annoyed too easily. How many do you have, Iris? How many complaints do you have in this quiz? Yes, it is. Elizabeth, how many Teacher. complaints do you have? Teacher. Yes. Is uh, for yes and for no. And only only check only check if the information is according to you to your personality. Yes. Yes. Solo agarre las que sí. Por ejemplo, si a usted no le gusta cuando alguien le llama, es cuando suena el teléfono en el salón de clase, cheque esta. Las demás no, solo lo que va according, according with you. Okay, okay. Okay. Now, how many do you have that is, that is okay, that is positive? How many? How many points? <clears throat> okay, Roberto, tell me. I I hate I hate it when people talk with their mouth full. Okay, that's and okay, chair. only that, only one. Only. See, yes, yes, only. and then only. if you have only one. You don't get annoyed very easily. What is the meaning of annoyed? Get annoyed. No se enoja con facilidad. If you have only one, you don't get annoyed very easily. Usted no se enoja con facilidad. Okay. Who has four or three? Three or four. Who has three or four? I have four. Okay. I have four teachers. I have a four. Okay, and then you are fairly easy going. What is the meaning of fairly? Fairly easy going. It means bastante tranquilo. Fairly easy going. Bastante tranquilo. And then you are. Fairly easy going. Congratulations. Congratulations. <laughs> okay. Who has five or six? Five Me, or six I am. Okay, and then you get annoyed pretty easily. What is the meaning of this? You get annoyed pretty easily. Que se molesta con facilidad. Yes, yes, but in class, no, right? <laughs> After the class, you have a permission, but in class, no. <laughs> I'm kidding, right? You get annoyed pretty easily. Se, se enfada con facilidad, con bastante facilidad. Uh, who has seven or eight? Who? Nothing? No one? No one? Depend. <laughs> yeah, and then, if it's your case, relax. You get annoyed too easily. Te enfadas con demasiada facilidad. Too yes. easily. Demasiada facilidad. But relax. You're out of here the classroom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's terrible. But in class, you don't have a permission to get annoyed, right? Only after the class. <laughs> okay. Did you like the quiz? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. 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 After, after the class, I send you, I will send you this information, the quiz, right? As an extra material. 
Now, here we have uh, some statement described three kinds of people. And in this case, I need to listen the audio and read at the same time and pay attention to the audio set. Is which statement best describes Andrea? Which statement? ¿Qué oración describe mejor? A Andrea, a James, or Mr. Johnson? We have three personal, three different personalities. Please pay attention and take note. Take note if you consider that it's important to you. Now, please. Pay attention and read at the same time. Have you seen Have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, She's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know, she asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast. Yeah, he's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay, now, did you, did you pay attention to the audio? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, yes. Uh, who, who is Andrea? What, Andrea. what, Andrea. what Andrea. Andrea. describe to Andrea? What Andrea. personalities? Andrea is someone who is egoistic. 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 Egoist
Yes. What about what which statement best describes yams? Yes. And is he going? Yes. What about Mr. Johnson? Which statement best describes Mr. Johnson? Mr. Johnson is someone who is temperamental and Why do you consider Mr. Johnson is temperamental and unreliable? Why? Yes. Why? Why? Okay. Why do you consider that Mr. Johnson is temperamental and unreliable? The peers say that they never do the things that they say that they do. Yeah. And in the audio, they said that he's strange and predictive, right? Predictable. Yeah. And in number in in the first one about Andrea, they they told us that talk about herself all the time, right? All right. And second about James, he makes friends very easily, inviting people, and he's a great cook too. I listen this information in the audio. <laughs> It's yeah, cool. it's okay, right? Now, uh, do you have any questions for this information? Or is everything okay? Everything is okay. It's okay. Okay, now, here we have another important exercise. Is it means instructions are uh, instruction is writing about a best friend, then share it with your classmate. Please write in your notebook only three three statements about a best friend. Please right now. I do <laughs> do, do a sentence. Do a sentence using personalities about a best friend. Okay, can be about your mom, your mom, your father, can be, there is no problem. This exercise is in the platform and it's very important do it, the exercise in the platform and upload the information. You should have a question, only one friend or three friends? No, only one. Or can be three. Yes, there is no problem. Did you finish? No yet. No yet, it means todavía no. No yet. No yet, teacher. Yet, no yet. Okay. Did you finish? I just admit I am reading the, your information in 
in WhatsApp, but if it's impossible to you add to WhatsApp group after class, uh, you can tell me, please, and I can help Yes, you. I okay. try, but I couldn't. I, I don't know what happened. It's only, okay. uh, it's solo cargando and nothing happened. Okay, well, and then, and then after class, I, I can help you. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you, 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 I am finished. Finish. Okay. You can uh, after class. You can tell me right. Uh, here. Para los que no no se conectaron ayer, this is my phone number. Hearing meeting WhatsApp. This is my phone number. If you have any questions after class, you can you can write me. Puede escribirme, aquí está mi número, ¿ya? O cualquier pregunta que me quiera hacer con mucho gusto, ahí se los puse en el WhatsApp. Okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay. Did you finish? Yeah. Okay, volunteer. I yes. need only two volunteers. Okay. Volunteer. I Okay, who is um, I? My I Alali. Okay, my Ali. husband is my best friend and he has a lot of patience. My what husband? Is his... his, yes, your husband. Okay, my husband is what? Is my best friend. Yeah. And he's a lot of patients. Ah, and then he has a lot yes. of he has patients. Of patients. Patients. Yes, it's okay. A lot of patients. This is yes. Okay. Is Thanks this correct? a lot. Yes. And he has a lot of okay. patients. Yes. He's patient. <clears throat> okay. okay. Now another another volunteer. Me, teacher, okay. Griselda. Griselda. Tell me, Griselda. My best friend is serious, honest, and organized because she loves to do the things. Uh, let me see. Well. Serious. Is serious? My best friend is serious. What else? Honest. Honest. And organized. Organized. Yes. Yes, only that. Okay. Thanks a lot. The last one. You're welcome. Okay. Last one. Me, Cristina. Cristina, tell me. Yes. My best friend is ver is a very reliable person. Is reliable person. Let me see. Is a reliable person. Okay, thanks for your participation. Now, after this exercise, we have clauses with it and when. What is the meaning of clauses? Oración. 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 With it and when. Here we have positives, neutral and negatives in positive we have i like it and i love it i like it it means me gusta i love it amo i love it oh me encanta oh me encanta i love it yes uh, neutral i don't mind it what is the meaning of i don't mind it no importa. No importa. No I don't mind. Eh, yes, it's no me importa. No podría ser no me importaría. No me importa, no me importaría. Yeah. Negative. Don't like. Don't like. I don't like it. I don't like it. 
And I can stand it. I can no stand it. No, no lo puedo soporto. soportarlo. Yes. No puedo soportarlo. I can't stand it. Yes. Now. Now. Here we have. Um, I need to tell to tell you uh, one information. Uh, after class, always I send at the WhatsApp group the video of our class. And then, if you have any question or needs, needs to reinforce the information, you can open, open the link of YouTube and check again the, our class, right? And I have another information. Yesterday, in my presentations, I tell you, I told you, that on May 1st and May 10th, there is no class. Do you remember? Yes. Yes? yes. And then, yes, it is important to mention that, eh, se lo voy a decir en español para que les quede así más clarito. El, la fecha primero de mayo es el día del trabajo. Entonces, cae el lunes. Ese lunes no vamos a tener clases. Sin embargo, la vamos a tener el día viernes. Viernes que sería 5, ¿verdad? Viernes 5 yes. vamos a tener clase. Va a ser de yes. martes. Es la reposición. From, yes, esa reposición. Sería de martes a viernes. Vamos a tener clase esa semana. Y la semana del 10 vamos a tenerla también el día viernes que sería 12, que es el día que terminamos el curso. Va a ser el 10, lo vamos a reponer el 12. Right? right? Please don't forget yes. this information. Okay. Okay. Now, okay. okay. Now, here we have close with it and adverbial close with them. When I use with, when I use when, or when I use it. Okay. You can use it as a subject of a sentence. When trying to introduce new information. Second, to talk about the time or the date. Three, to talk about weather. Four, to express opinions about places, situations, and events. You can use, you see, use it, right? And when, here we have when, is, um, let me see, when is used to indicate short actions that fall in the middle of a longer action. Here we have a longer action in the first, in the first line. Here we have, I like it. What is the meaning of I like it? Me gusta, right? Me gusta. I like Me gusta. it. I like it. I sí. like it when a t-shirt is helpful and supportive. Yes? Mm. I like it when a t-shirt is helpful and supportive. What is the meaning of the sentence? What is the meaning? Yes, les ayuda y le da soporte. Second, I don't mind it when a friend visits without calling me first. I don't mind it when a friend visits without calling me first. No yes. me importa cuando, no me importa amigo, cuando un amigo visite sin llamarme primero. llamarme primero. Excellent, exactly. Number three, I can stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. I can stand it when a child screams in a restaurant. Yeah? 
no puedo soportar, ¿verdad? I can stand it. Cuando un niño grita en un restaurante. Yes, when a child screams in a restaurant. Next one. It makes me happy when people do nice things for no reason. It makes me happy. What is the meaning of it makes me happy? Me hace feliz. Yes. Yes, me hace feliz. When people do nice things for no reason. Cuando las personas hacen cosas buenas sin, ningún, sin alguna razón. Yeah. It bothers me. It bothers me. What is the meaning of it bothers me? Me molesta. me molesta when my doctor arrives late for an appointment. And next one, it upsets me. It upsets me. It means me molesta too. Me molesta. When a me close molesta. friend forgets my birthday. Yeah. Cuando un amigo cercano olvida mi cumpleaños. It upsets me. ¿Ya? Yeah? Esto es, nos sirve para unir oraciones. Dijimos que el when, ¿cuándo lo vamos a utilizar? Para unir oraciones largas o corta. Podría ser easy use to indicate short actions that fall in the middle of a longer action. Here we have short ends, short, short actions. Es una acción corta, right? And here we have a longer action. A longer, and, and then when, we can use when to indicate short actions and connect, connect the sentences. Yes? Aquí lo estamos utilizando como un conector, right? Then right. tomorrow we will continue with this information. Yeah, with clothes and the, the rest of, of contents. Yeah. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher, gracias. Teacher. Okay. 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 Teacher. Bye, bye. Have bye. a nice bye. Have a nice bye. night. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, teacher. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.